Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Louis. Welcome back to my to my videos. And I wanted to do um, for a long time now a video regarding the Hero artifact upgrades and basically how to how to plan your your progress in this, how to um, distribute resources, you know, uh, priorities to give, strategies, etc. And well, I think today I have something I can show, um, and well, you can be the judge for it <laughs> and tell me. And tell me if this is a good a good strategy or not. So here is how we go. We we go here in, in the airship. Of course, now I'm quite uh, quite developed by the, by by this time. I also have a lot of resources to spend, and you will see maybe in one of the next videos how I will effectively spend the resources I have. But I will get into the very quick basics here. So. Every hero can have a, a weapon, a book, and a ring, and you can develop these independently. There's independent resources for developing each, and then, um, like, like the 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 hero themselves, they can have uh, um, they can have multiple ranks. So the item up goes by upgrading with the parts, and and also changes the color regard uh, according to the to the rank. So. For example, here their devil is on, on on the blue rank. Eventually, she'll get to the purple. Before blue, you have uh, green, and before green, you have uh, gray. Gray, which is here. Okay, and before that, you have nothing. <laughs> the the hero will be naked without without artifacts. Okay, like these ones here, they are not equipped. So, uh, you you will need parts for this. These will drop from the outline runs, and and then you also have uh, the, um, the evolution. So the evolution uses different parts, uses the um, this um, this chaos cores, and then uses the the specific fragments for each type of item. So there's multiple types of weapons. There are actually one different weapon per hero. There's a few different types of books and a, a few different types of the rings. The rings there are just three: agility, intelligence, and strength. The the books they are I think like six. So there's the the warrior's code which is for for marksmen. And just a quick overview: there's the uh, this health book, the um, I don't recall the Tome of Arcane Knowledge. That's for mostly uh, mostly um, healers, but also other other exotic heroes that use them like, like Rufus is a, is a tank. Then you have this one, um, the Book of Illusions. This is mostly for dodge heroes, but sometimes those dodge heroes will have a different type of book, like the Warrior's Code, which gives critical hit. And then there's also uh, the, this one, the Alchemist's Folio, I believe, yeah, th which is more for... Um, it's also more for marksmen. I think I, uh, actually, I quite like <laughs> a little bit about the Warriors. Because the warriors also applies to 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 warriors, not just marksmen, and the alchemist's folio is more oriented to to marksmen, and it gives instead physical attack instead and armor penetration instead of of um, of critically chance. And then uh, there's two more, I believe. There's the the book, the the manuscript of the void, which gives magic attack and penetration. And then there's the defenders something, defenders covenant, which gives armor. I believe those are all the books. I don't think I missed anything. It's just a quick overview. I'm not going into much detail uh, of um, very specifics of what, what, or, or where you can use these these books most effectively. Just a quick overview. Then there's the weapons. Uh, each hero has a different weapon. Okay, that's just the basics. Um, so you get all these resources from. Sorry, I was saying the Outland ship. I don't know why I said that, but you get these resources instead from the expeditions here. And so you do the expeditions, you get parts, but then you also uh, collect these keys, and then you can, uh, you know, get your chances here, opening these chests and getting and getting some parts. The fragments they are all the same for uh, all the types of items. So you have uh, fragments for weapons, fragments for books, fragments for the rings they apply to all heroes I regardless of which book ring or weapon they can use and the only difference is it's just the colors so these ones will be uh, these pieces that uh, 
sorry, I have to select one that hasn't maxed, been maxed yet. So these are these pieces here. So one for each color, so effectively the rank, and then the evolution. So with that said, I'm going to move now to strategy. So uh, for any newcomer, um, but then any 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 uh, player progressing in their um, in their way in the game, you should you should choose uh, initially five heroes to, or you can even just narrow it down to two, three heroes that you want to focus uh, the most. Okay, but I would say I would say pick five, pick your main team. Uh, you can also go ahead and pick all uh, all your three teams or two of the three teams and then you already know where to go in the future but at least pick your main five heroes your main team and after you pick those so you you, you will always have to consider some some types of heroes you will need most likely a tank if not a tank and off tank you will need most likely a damage dealer uh, either physical uh, magic based or critical uh, you will need um, most likely a uh, healer and you will probably need another another hero when support or instead of a support you might need a, a damage dealer support like chain out here or or you might need a, you might take the chance to have another another defensive unit like and very which is an, can be regarded as an off tank or you can go uh, with another damage dealer why not you can even mix physical and, and magic some teams use that so after you pick your your main five heroes, you need to pick the ones you will focus the most um, before moving before moving to other heroes. So first, your your main five, and then second, pick the ones you want to prioritize. And the ones you want to prioritize will be uh, at least in the start one tank and one damage dealer, regardless of which ones. You just have to pick one for each category and and move with that so you just pick one and, and and for each and you start putting resources into the one you feel like you need the most so do you need more damage do you need more defense you pick the tank or the damage dealer and you start with that um, and then we're going to move to the third third strategy so then you have a choice let's see let's imagine I was doing daredevil and ziri one tank and one damage dealer so um, regarding those two heroes, so Ziri, she she borrows, she hides from the fight for a while, for a while to regain her health, um, and so she can expose expose uh, the the team behind her to direct hits when she she goes on the ground. Uh, the the second unit is always exposed, but e every everybody else usually is protected by the tank and the first the second uh, uh, hero in the fight. And so, it might make sense, for example, in the case of Ziri, to up her health as much as possible, armor, all those defensive stats, the strength, uh, before moving to the other heroes. But then on the other hand, maybe maybe our tank is just leaving enough for the fight to finish, and then you can already put resources in your damage dealer to actually uh, make the fight go quicker and win will be better chances this is something you have to decide for yourself um, and let's say another strategy would be instead of having um, instead of having uh, um, let's say Ziri we could have we could have instead uh, Rufus uh, so you suppose you are fighting a lot of mage teams uh, as long as Rufus can survive the initial seconds um, before he activates his shield and then probably you can defeat most of those magic teams uh, without putting much resources into him so it's another way of seeing this um, regardless of this you have to decide which of those heroes deserve uh, your attention the most uh, in the start or as you go by when you are moving to another team as you go by uh, which of those heroes you would uh, benefit more more damage or more defensive stats and then let's see you can also do as um, this was the third suggestion you can also do um, a different and uh, different way of doing things a uh, fourth suggestion would be to um, instead of just focusing on um, on one of the heroes you can also do something slightly different so for example 
uh, regarding Ziri here and Daredevil. Um, which of these things give them the the best benefits? So for for Daredevil, it's most people will say it's the Warriors Code. I, I will say it, it's the Warriors Code because it gives it gives critically chance. It's a permanent stat, and every every time she hits, she's benefiting from this instead of waiting for the weapon to go off. Okay, um, so this would be ideally the first thing you would develop the most on Daredevil. So why not just skip on the ring and the weapon for a little while in the start and then you can put those resources in other heroes. So for example, you could put uh, you could put uh, both the weapon and the ring on on Ziri to make her uh, more more fit for the for defense, although not the best way because armor will be probably the most important, but anyways, you can um, progress on attack on damage on one of the heroes and on the other you can progress more on the defensive. Uh, another way of seeing this, let's say, let's say for example, for example, uh, I think one very, um, very, very obvious example would be Astaroth and Orion here. So, Astaroth, um, if you give if you give the weapon to Astaroth, will, will which will increase the the strength the uh, sorry <laughs> the armor for like Ziri, for the armor for everybody, and remember he can revive himself if he dies unlike Ziri and Ziri will borrow, um just before her health reduces to like twenty percent or something, she will borrow exposing the team and no and Astaroth will will lose health, will let him lose his health until he dies, and then if he hasn't used revive yet, he will revive himself, so he can come back to the fight briefly. And so, if you give him the the um, the weapon, in this case, give him the armor from the weapon, you can, for example, with, uh, with either Orion or Kira, you can focus instead on the book, giving, in this case, a magic penetration attack to Orion, and in the case of Kira, give armor, penetration and physical attack, right? And then you can also decide, okay, I'm going to give the, the ring to a third hero. So you can give the ring to one of the other heroes that you use to support your team. For example, for Orion, I could I could pick uh, Celeste and give her the ring uh, or maybe support my, my Dorian a bit so he can survive the fights, give him in more intelligence. So he also does, uh, of course, more, more damage. He also gets um, more more health, he also has more magic attack for his healing, um, so he can survive also uh, better on the critical hits, um, but you can also give uh, the ring to uh, Helios, uh, to Jet in the case of Kira, to Mao, and there's uh, multiple options here, or you can just dump the ring uh, into one of the other two, so either the damage dealer or the, the tank. So. As you go by, you have a team. You start you start uh, developing them. You get you have already maybe one, two, three heroes with um, with all these uh, uh, at least the level of the artifacts developed, and uh, say not the evolution. Like for example, I don't have any at uh, six stars, uh, and then you start accumulating resources. And now where where will you spend? This is the time where you would you would consider um picking additional heroes to benefit from from these resources so you can at this point choose um for example if it's your second team or third team we will get those resources mm, but most likely the second team right <laughs> third team is always the third and the other option would be uh, supports to help your main team win most the most fights so Examples here. For example, <laughs> sorry, I'm <laughs> repeating the word example too many times. But let's say, let's say here without, uh, without putting too much info here, I will go here in the training, and I will simulate something. So let's say I have um, ODH team. Astaroth, Orion, I have Celeste. Celeste, I mean, you can have any other, but anyways, so I'm gonna put here. Um, I will put this the standard uh, ODH. So we have Dorian, Ilius, Orion, and and one tank, which can be Astrod, but can be another tank, right? And um, now you have a fourth slot here. And let's say my main team is with Celeste, which 
often is. And um, and let's imagine. First, to certain teams, I can slot in uh, something else, some other hero, to help me fight those teams. And let's give an example. Fighting uh, card teams, I could sleep. Uh, sl <laughs> sleep, sorry. I can um, I can replace uh, I can can replace Celeste with, for example, Andvari to protect me from from Kark. Okay, um, let's uh, use another example. I'm fighting a very strong um, magic teams that are not the twins, but magic teams, and I need to uh, to increase my my damage, or even not necessarily magic teams, just any team that doesn't have a very s uh, straightforward counter and I just need to, imp to uh, improve my, my damage. So I can slot in um, Nebula. Uh, uh, actually, if those teams are not critical, why not replacing Helios here uh, and put in uh, another here that can uh, increase the, the magic abilities of of, of, um, of the team we have here. So for example Celeste. And then you can with Nebula uh, boost Celeste and Orion's uh, damage. Alright? Uh, regarding regarding Kark, let's do a quick correction here. So I was um, leaving Helios here, right? Just before. Uh, many of those Kark teams will have uh, Jet to provide critical hit. So this will still be uh, uh, a likely a choice to, to use against those type of Kark teams. But most often you would, um, you would replace Helios with another hero that can boost either the ones you have here or add additional uh, damage so um, for example it wouldn't be completely unheard of of putting uh, Satori here because maybe the opposing Kark team also has a Jorgen uh, also I I is getting energy uh, faster than, than usual you can put in, in there uh, Satori uh, or you can put in uh, why not counter also with with Jorgen, slow them down, slow Kark so it doesn't ultimate so fast, and then and Varric protects, and then Orion here finishes him off. Um, but you can also why not put here um, faceless and hope that he can either um, he can either uh, uh, clone either Andvari's uh, abilities or Orion's abilities. Okay. Uh, other other examples. Let's say we are using a Kira team. Many teams will be something like this for additional critical and then they would put something like this probably Marta or Orion or sorry Dorian or maybe no Dorian just leave healing to, to Jet. Then you can put a tank, uh, can be Astrod, can be a Galahad, uh, can be some other let's use tank let's say Oh yes, why not? Why not? Of course, it can be a very traditional undead team like this, and then you can put something in the front to protect Kira, like uh, Ching Mao there, or uh, let's see, um, even Dante. Yeah, even Dante. You can put in there Dante. <coughs> this this. Um, so this type of team, let's say it's your it's your main team, let's imagine. But suppose you are fighting, suppose suppose you are fighting uh, um, mage intensive teams, okay, and like uh, Satori, Celeste, or even Orion counts for that. So you can um, you can develop additional supports to, to encounters to face those teams. Let's say. We we can drop in case of fighting a mage team. I can drop probably the second hero here because hero won't won't need that much protection, and I can put in there Cornelius, okay, to kill uh, Celeste and Satori um, with one shot probably, okay. Um, or in addition, oh, why not? You can replace you can replace Corvus there with uh, Rufus, okay, and provide additional. Um, additional magical defense. So this is just some examples of things you could do. That it's not very exhaustive. But the point of this is you you should think about uh, developing additional heroes to support your main team or perhaps those heroes are already 
part of your second and, and third team so you can just move move along and, and start developing um uh, those uh, those teams because they have those those uh, additional cool supports um i suppose this this brings me to the last to the last topic uh, which would be um we will leave uh, evolutions for another video i suppose but the next the next topic would be or, or rather, the, the evolutions are actually quite simple. You just have to um, have enough cores, which I have, and and then get the necessary parts from the merchant. Uh, if you're not getting enough uh, from from the expeditions, okay. Um, and the the logic apply the same way. Um, you either pick one hero to focus, or you can um, select either the book, the weapon, or the ring for some heroes and focus on that and try to get those artifacts to to six stars the the quickest as possible there's not not really much to say about that um the last thing i want to talk about is um you can you can play this game in a very smart free to play or mostly free to play way uh if you if you account for the heroes that you need uh, on the very various parts of the game so um, I'll give a few examples and you can take your imagination with that um, but for example in the Outland in the uh, we can actually check this out here without starting a fight in the Outland you can look at the heroes here and see for each each boss which ones are, are um, are possible to use and um, which ones of those are the most effective okay and trust me uh, based on my experience it's always good to have uh, different types of teams so eventually you will have three teams but instead of having all magical teams or all physical teams you just have different teams different element teams so you can have one physical one magic and then one one dodge magic or one dodge physical, one dodge critical, whatever, <laughs> or or just one flat out one critical. You you just figure out something for yourself, and and you can also do something like one one slow physical and one fast critical, or one slow magical and one fast magical. But as long as you have two teams of uh, different types of damage, is is really important and you can most certainly live by uh, throughout the game so you can um, pick from here a few examples of very um, mostly or completely free to play heroes that you can have and and use those as a template for your teams for, so for example starting here uh, Dorian is not really uh, uh, free to play it's difficult to get unless you have access to to the uh, to the evolution evolution books I believe that <laughs> I'm forgetting the name in anyways uh, the evil books I believe um, or just getting uh, the the um, very limited events that that show up for Dorian um, and and Helios is not that uh, rare as Dorian for example but he is uh, attainable in the campaign just hard but attainable uh, Celeste also like Dorian is more complicated but less complicated than Dorian in my opinion but what is from here very easy to get Orion and Orion is um, is available from the shop and very effective uh, versus um, versus uh, I was what's his name versus Brock, right? <laughs> so you can you can get Orion and use Orion for um, a lot of the campaign for um, for the outland for this outland boss, but also in the arenas and the competitions, uh, the all, all the all the competitions, okay? And also versus the Hydras, actually, is not really that bad against the Hydras. And we'll move to an, uh, another example. There's other heroes that are useful in the in the um, versus the, the Hydra, like Mojo. But Mojo, you don't need to develop much. Uh, Lilith and Zisha also also very useful. Aurora will eventually be useful um, versus this offline boss. Um, and then we have, I say, for for Elisa. 
for Elisa, uh, it's it's really good to use Kira or Daredevil or both, and also uh, <laughs> more difficult to get, but Marta, she's also rare. And um, then you also have uh, these ones here, Jet and Sebastian, and Cornelius and Jewel. Of all these, the really easy to get ones are are Kira, Daredevil, and Jet, and sorry, and Jewel. Uh, and Jew is also very good, like Daredevil, against the Hydras. So you already have here another two heroes you can pick for your standard teams um, and keep them as mostly free to play as possible. So Jew is available, I believe, from from one of the shops, and Kira and Daredevil from the campaign in at very low level and um, stages of the campaign, uh, unlike Helios. And now for for um, for Vajar. Um, of these, uh, often what gets used a lot is is one of the tanks, and then Ching Mao, okay. And then you can add another people in like Nebula and Almir. Nebula also heals, by the way. Um, and there's also additional heroes here that appear later, also Astrid, and so you can you can make a team here as well. And of these. Um, so Ziri you can get from from the um, from the Guild Wars shop. It's a bit more difficult to get than other from other shops, but it's still very possible. Galahad uh, has a uh, weakness against the Gal um, against the uh, Jorgen, uh, but still is not that bad a thing, I believe. Uh, many people complain, but I don't think it's that bad. But if you mm, don't trust Galahad, you have other very good options here that are very free to play. So you have mostly Ziri once you get to the to the Silver Guild War and Gold Guild War. But you as also have here and Vari, uh, which is not that easy. But sometimes you get events. It kind of depends. Uh, but there's also, I believe, one shop with resources for this. No, I don't recall now. But what is definitely very easy to get is Rufus and also Chaba. Um, especially Rufus can be can be useful um, in in the competitions because you can block the magic attacks. Okay, and so you can ba you can make a, a, a nice team here. And also of these, very useful against the the Hydras are Ching Mao because she reduces health by a large large percentage, ten percent. Also, of course, versus Vajra, and then Rufus to protect your team from from the darkness and. I believe partially the light hydra, but I, I cannot check now. So, anyways, uh, some some suggestions here. What will not work against the Outland bosses? It's mostly Kark. Uh, here, it's mostly um, oops, wrong button. It's mostly um, um, what was it? It's mostly Kai here and the twins. Not very useful against against Brock. And um, and against Elisa, that was also someone. Someone that would be. No, I'm just mistaken here. Th I guess all of them are are useful. Less maybe less Artemis, but even Fox is useful because of of her abilities to 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 stun and and the fog she makes of the smoke. So a lot of these heroes can be a nice template for your uh, for your three teams just go and select if you uh, want to keep it more free to play select the ones that are very easy to get from these um, sets here and that are the most effective against outland but also against the the hydra bosses okay <laughs> the last tip i have to give and this is not a strategy uh, uh, in, in terms of spending resources and in the directly in the in the heroes or selecting the heroes for spending the resources is about how much you need to spend in terms of resources not money to keep progressing every day so to keep progressing every day you need to consider um, how many consumables you have stockpiled so i don't have a problem with that as you can see uh, but you need to set check on, on on those consumables and you need to check uh, on what your heroes require to to move to the next so in, in the case here i have plenty um i have 5000 i need 30 not a problem but for example i'm exhausting the greens so now i i have um, no it wasn't the greens it was the grays the grays the grays 
the greys I have uh, a lot of, of the weapons but really not much for the books and the rings and the rings I still have I still have plenty I guess still enough for a few for maybe maybe moving these here to 30 I don't, I don't plan on moving these here to 30 but <laughs> anyways uh, w theoretically it would be possible I think uh, and so what I mean to say with this if you if you don't have many resources you can just um, upgrade one artifact every day and just stick with that so you can do the quest every day and get the benefits every day okay <laughs> um, I, I believe that's it's better to to have uh, one upgrade every day than to spend everything and, and then not being able to upgrade anything multiple days a week so that would be my my uh, last suggestion I hope you enjoyed this um, came a bit longer than I expected but I hope you enjoyed this and that this was um, useful enough to make your next decisions um, I, will, I will make further videos after this I I'm planning to make a video or, or two or three towards my spending of resources that you saw there uh, I'll, I will distribute those and a bit on why but uh, that will be on another video and um, I'll see you around uh, please leave a subscribe or a like um, leave me some feedback and I wish you a good week bye bye take care